Here we go. This has been a couple of days worth of work here. We've got patches with his inspired creativity. He's got 20 crafting. Unfinished Red Dragon Scales robe of the Archmage. This is going to be some of the best gear we're ever going to see in RimWorld. There it is. It is a masterwork. Good work. Right, drop, drop that there. No, you can, you can put that down. Bonnet's right there, ready to put it on. Holy shit. This is going to be insane. Patches wants to wear it. Patches obviously does not get to wear it. Did you see how much extra mana that thing gave us? And that's before it's enchanted too, don't forget. There it is. The Red Dragon Scales Cloak of Supremacy. Now, fortunately, we are waiting on... Uh, so, Phantom Shift. Oh, shit. There's 20% chance to avoid his attack. There we go. So, that's what that does. We're still waiting on the very last gem here from Pots. And I believe that's everything in that stage, right? Oh, shit. We've got to enchant the Blazing Power as well. Um, in fact, we need one, uh, two. Yeah, one, two. Um, oh, no. I was looking at the wrong piece. So, that's this bit. Yeah. So, one, two, um, three. We need three more gems. Bonnet is then super powered, and as I said before, this is our final episode, everybody. So we are going to lead our undead army to attack the uh, the Sovereign Vainum Federation, whatever the hell they were called. The Wizard Enclave, basically, because apparently that's a very, very good challenging battle. So that's what we're going to hopefully uh, see what we're up against, and I think we're probably going to get annihilated. Anyway, let's give it a go. Mana Surge is also great to hear. Bonnet could raise a shit ton more undead, but obviously it'd be a lot of micromanagement there. Also, we don't really have enough gear for them, unfortunately. So, speaking of which, I've also got to give them all the gear that they decided to unequip last time. As you can see, all their sidearms have disappeared. So, um... Can they not get to it? Maybe these are their sidearms, they just can't get to it because it's not in... Let's try that, hang on. So, expand allowed errors. Let's just allow this as part of Undead Burg and see if they actually come and pick it all up. Um, I don't think we actually need to change much else, do we? Yeah, there we go! Right, so for some reason, they've just taken off all of their sidearms. Good, good, good. Okay, so that means I don't have to piss around doing that for hours again. Yeah, here they all come. And when they've got it all, we'll uh, obviously stop this being undead bird, because all these undead are going to freak out our regular old colonist. Right, that's a little bit better. Enchant Staff of Blazing Power. Nice, I wasn't sure if that was actually going to work. And equip that one. There we go, 304 mana overall there. And that one is also fully enchanted with all these ridiculous... I mean, the damage resistance by itself is going to be massive. I mean, it's just so OP, isn't it? So we've got one, two, uh, three more. Three more left to go. That's going to take Pot some some time, though. Unfortunately, it was not nearly as close to landing up as I thought there. Bonnet just looks ridiculous at this stage. Well, I remember innocent Bonnet Bigley, only good at social, crap at everything else. And look how far he's come. Man, what a story. Anyway, let's take a look at Undead Bird, make sure things are still going on over here. Yeah, that's just still mining constantly. We need a lot more Jade before we can uh, finish off everything we need here. But yeah, we've got enough Jade for... Okay, we've got half as much that we need for one gem, unfortunately. So this is going to take a little bit of time. All right, just so I was building another gem cutter's table to try and speed this up a little bit, we have Dwarven Bandits. Okay, this will be pretty interesting. Oh, they've done it with different weapons now. Dwarf Crossbow. So shit, these boys always used to turn up with axes, didn't they? How many groups have we got? Oh, is, it, is that genuinely it? That's the siege. Okay, so they've turned up with different weapons, but unfortunately they've turned up with 34 dudes. So I have a feeling we can uh, probably take this one fairly easily. So let's go and draft everybody up here. This should be actually comically easy at this stage. Right, get over here. Everybody run as fast as you can. Um, okay, that was, that was a little bit too fast. We don't want our regular colonists on the front line, though, just the undead. So let's get... Uh, Kirk is also not undead. So get these boys back here a little bit. Move the undead up front. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Are they attacking immediately? Oh, it's a siege though. Oh, they could be ages over there. We're going to send someone to lure them over because I, I cannot be bothered to stand here for the next 40 minutes waiting for those boys to attack. So we are going to have a massive raid at some point in this campaign. I don't know when. At some point during today's episode, I should say. I don't know when. Um, but it's going to be pretty devastating, I think. So, we've got that to look forward to in a minute. Right, so let's get... Uh, I thought this was it, but unfortunately not. I can definitely tell when it's going to be, because the game lags massively. Because we are long overdue for the Hildegard epic big, big raid. Which should be coming any time now. Um, let's get you over there. Let's move any of the melee characters up to the front a little bit more. In fact, we can move the melee characters just right up close. Um, there we go. A lot of you guys have been suggesting different combat mods. Unfortunately, we're at such a stated campaign now. We're installing them would be impossible and also a little bit pointless. But we will look into them for the uh, next campaign that is coming up hopefully tomorrow. Um, so we're going to get it edited in time. Anyway, let's get uh, all of our boys to the front there. So Elkip, you can take the center because, I mean, of course, it's Reginald Elkip. A little annoying that we've had trees growing in front of the embrasures. God damn it. Um, do you think I could cut them down very quickly or is it a bit late for that? Right, there we go. Um... We should be okay still, I think, if we just stagger our formations a little bit, try and fit in as many as we can. Um, honestly, you boys have crossbows, so man the catapult. You man the catapult as well. 
Um, again, we don't have to hurry too much because it is a siege. So, uh, shoot frenzy. Reginald L. Kip. The only one without a ranged weapon. Incredible. Absolutely fantastic there. Um, Adelaide, you can go there. Drake, you might as well go there as well. Uh, Bonnet, as close as possible. This is fine. I think we've got a good lineup here. So, why don't we send Bonnet, because he can fly, in to go and uh, aggro them and then fly him away. Um, or solo them, alternatively, because there's only 30 of them and it's one Bonnet Bigly. They should have bought more numbers. Doesn't seem like an entirely fair fight. Right, let's get closer. Why does Bonnet have the ability to launch a magical cooler? Why would I do that to him? What a waste. Alright, speed one. There we go, team. He's killed one already and they seem thoroughly unconcerned. Let's fire a death bolt in. That'll wake him up. Oh, nice. That was good. Okay, now they're assaulting the colony. Bonnet, this is where you need to run, my friend. I'm not going to waste his... Oh, no, I absolutely am. Okay, run. Uh, flight. And let's drop him back to where he was before using an ability. Is he going to get away in time? No. Oh, God, please. Fly. Fly, you fool. There we go. Okay, nice. Um, these boys are quite heavily armored. What is that they've got on there? Warlock? This is gear. It looks really, really cool. The Iron Hill Dwarf stuff. It looks kind of like Centurion armor. Man. Oh, man. Bonnet killed so many by himself, though. Look at that. That's insane. He took out... He took out eight of them by himself. And there's however many left. 20. Just over 20. So he killed about a third of their army by himself there. Just, just under a third. Pretty impressive stuff. Um, I think that undead actually died because of us. I think the Fire Mage killed that guy. Well, it's fine, though. I think we're going to be okay. Well, there we go. Good, good fight, team. Well done. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what else to say, really, besides... Good raid. Good raid all around. Bonnet, you might as well just come and raise these boys. Honestly, we've got a mana surge anyway. We might as well bring them all back to life and uh, get them fighting for us. Leave the corpses. They are bonnets. Raise the undead. With the extra mana regen rate, we might just be able to afford it anyway. Yeah, look at that. Holy shit, we absolutely can. Raise undead. Get these boys up on their feet. These are going to go against the uh, mage enclave that we're going to fight in a second. Boom, welcome aboard. Nain, Durin, Kos. Oh, I thought that said Gimli then, but it's Gilmi. Gilmi. That's my wee lad, kill me. Right, okay, send him home, and let's go ahead and restrict those boys. So in hindsight, we don't even need this final gem, because the uh, Red Dragon Cloak of Supremacy actually has... Uh, sorry, no, the Red Dragon Scales Flexing Robe, blah, 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 actually has a very, very good um, enchantment regardless. So energy regen increased 20%, whereas the Gem of Wonder gives an energy regen increase of 15%. So these are actually just better anyway. So we're actually ready to go. That's it. We're done. Everything's enchanted, to my knowledge. We can't enchant the defenders. We can't enchant the rings. Bonnet. It is time to say goodbye, the final time here, to Bonnetsborough. Let's get the undead, and let's head out. The undead are basically fully armoured. The ones that don't have ranged weapons have the ridiculous dwarf armour. Let's head off. This is this is great. So, world map. And we're going to attack the Sovereign Federation of Vaynum, I think they're called. Yeah, there they are. So, these boys are apparently very, very powerful and need to be the one that we fight. They are a wizard federation at the end of the day, so I guess we'll see what we're up against here. Form caravan, and let's send just about everybody here. So the easiest way to tell, um, look for the ones without an actual job title. And those are the ones we want to take with us. And this should help speed the game up a little bit as well. So everybody's a winner, uh, except for Bonix. He's probably going to get horribly, horribly murdered in a second. Right, um, so we'll send you all, and we want to send uh, Bonnet King. Is that everyone? Let me just double check here. So we're not sending Vrico, obviously. That is it. That is good. All right. Choose route. Sovereign Federation of Vainum. Perfect. 2.3 days. It's going to take a while to get there. And then accept. I, th I think that is genuinely it, isn't it? Let me just go one last through this list. Blah, 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 blah. Some don't have weapons. It doesn't matter. Who cares? They'll become hungry. They're undead. That doesn't matter too much. All right, team. Good luck. Goodbye. This is the final time we will see Bonnet in Bonnetsborough. The man himself. Undraft. He's got quite an army behind him, though. That's a pretty good team, I think, even though it looks a little bit, uh, a little ragtag, a little strange there. Some elves passing through. Please don't tell them we're coming. There we go. Bonnet and his undead army at long last on a, on a, a real crusade that I think is actually going to challenge us for once as well. Now, this base is far from safe. We have, like I said, a massive, massive... Have they seriously taken up beds in here? I'm going to say they're for guests. If we mark them for guests, they'll actually go and get an actual bedroom rather than sleeping in the friggin' hospital. Right, um... So those are for guests. Get out of here. You'll find oh, they also look a lot nicer like that. Where are they going? Are we seriously got no other spare rooms down here? Unknown, 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 Drake. Good. So they are heading up here now to try and grab some beds. So we're going to mark all of these for guests as well. Um, because apparently they're not picking the best bedrooms they have on offer. Which is weird to me. Alright, there we go. Unknown. Still two unknown. Really, after all this time. We've got another one unknown there as well. 
that's fine then. Everybody's happy. We've got one unburied colonist, which I don't think anybody's too bothered about because they count as undead. We get this boy buried as well. Are you any good? Are you worth capturing for this this last little bit? Um, Massacres, gay brawler, terrible stats. Not bothered. Finish him off. He's not worth the effort because we probably won't even break his resistance by the time that the series is ended. Speaking of which, have we got anyone else? Stuart. Stuart, what were you? Um, you were a sharpshooter. We've already got a sharpshooter. If it was something new that we hadn't seen, I might go out of my way to try and get him. But this is good. Well done, Colony. Well done. I might even just set them to do anything. Um, at this stage, we just want them to be happy. Um, we could set all of their days to be recreation, but obviously then they'd starve to death pretty quickly. Why don't we go like like that? That seems like a fairly alright schedule to me. There you go. Everybody's going to be super happy. A couple of hours work every day. It's a socialist utopia. There you go, team. We're going to have to unrestrict everything as well, so they still maintain their sort of uh, food. And let's just make sure we've got some harvesting and growing as well, because that was mostly what the undead did. Yeah, there we go. I'm just going to fill that in. Nice, that's nice. Butchering, cooking should be higher priority for a couple as well. Sweet. Good. That should. That's all we need to keep the colony going. Oh, there's a couple of red dragons out there. Maybe we don't want to fight those. Yeah, red dragon egress. I didn't even notice that, to be honest with you. A man-hunting pack of fire drakes have entered the area. Oh, shit. Okay, right. That'll be interesting. That's something, huh? I don't think they're going to be too much of a challenge because these boys are also, from what we've seen before, fairly weak. All right, team. Sorry to uh, bother you during your, your hour of rest. But holy shit. Um, this one's actually fairly important. Oh, God. They are making a lot of ground, huh? They are making a lot of ground very quickly. Right. Um, get into position. Just get into position, for God's sake. Um... Right, Reginald Delkip, take the center. Patches come over here. Right, that's fine. Pretty happy with that layout. Okay. Right, this is going to be uh, a little bit dangerous, I think. Oh, God, they're already here. Um, let's try it. I think we're going to be fine. I think we'll be absolutely fine. Okay, we're not fine. This is bad. Uh, right, okay then. First things first. Uh, what does Kinetic Shield do? Kinetic Shield that repels inbound projectiles. That won't help. Summon the Poppy. Get the Poppy in there. Go, my boy. Oh, that's a lot of dragon. That is a lot of dragon we've got going on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Don't think we've lost anyone yet, though. That's fine. Um, right, okay. So, let's try and get these dragons away a little bit. Let's wave of fear. Push them back, Reginald Elkip. Did it work? Somebody got fear. Oh, God. These cannons rampage the dragons. So, everyone's going to be freaking out as well, aren't they? Oh, shit. Chili is down. Reginald Elkip's down. Mark's down. Oh, I think there's just one more dragon, though. Come on, team. You can do it. It's, it's one dragon. Come on. What if we got anti-armor? Let's turn that on. Headshot, disabling shot. Just enable them all. I don't care. Magic missile. Magic missile this dragon. Oh, God. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Nothing nothing to worry about there, team. Nothing at all. Right, who are our healers then? Um, oh, my God. We've actually lost a lot of... Uh, we've got a lot of people who need very quickly saving here. Patches. Rescue Patches. Egas. Rescue Chili. Uh, Madelore, rescue Skullduggery. Mummy Milky, rescue Red Reginald Elkip. I think that's everybody, right? Is everyone dealt with? Uh, no, that's definitely not. Who else have we got left behind there? Um, Mark, classic Mark. Croesus, rescue Mark. And then I think the team is good. Oh my god. Okay, well that was a, that was a good first raid. That's, a, that's a, nice, uh, a nice try, but still not enough. Not enough to stop us quite yet. Right, let's get these last two finished off, because those are uh, a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying just flying on around there, huh? Um, how do I even select them? Oh, God, this is annoying. Where's your body? There we go. Dragon fire drake. Right, nice. Uh, finish off. They're both apparently led on the same spot. Nice. And Bonnet? Bonnet never knew. He's, he's never known. What is that there? Orb of Souls. That'd be kind of fun. Okay. Bonnet is about... What did you say? About a third of the way there? Just over a third of the way over to the Sovereign Federation of Vanium. This road is going to be a lot slower. Then obviously has to make his way up through the arid shrubland there. Man, that's going to be a hell of a fight. Nice that we've apparently immediately got some challenges here. Everybody's healing up pretty quickly, though. It was all burns as well, more to the point. A lot of burns, so um, that would imply to me friendly fire, seeing as we know for a fact that these dragons don't breathe fire. Jesus. Well, that's going to be plenty of meat, though. That's, a good, that's another good thing. Infestation? Oh, God. Oh, my God, an undead bug. Um, this was not part of the plan at all. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. That's a hideous amount. Um, okay, this was not planned for. Right, okay, draft up anybody who's healthy. You are requested immediately to help deal with these friggin' insects. I was going to say Aztecs, then that's the wrong game. All right, uh, the elephant and Kirk, please, for the love of God, we need help. Oh my God, do we need help. Um, we should be fine. Luckily, it's fairly easy to contain them. 
Oh, shit. That's a lot. That's an insane amount. Look at all these hives as well. 27 hives. Okay. Hold the line. They are attacking. Oh, my God. They are attacking. Ah. Uh, I can't lose another colony, please. I can't lose another colony to an infestation. Get the poppy down. Good, good, good. Those will hold them off. You guys have said that the... That the blood mages are just insane. So let's actually try out a blood mage. Good, good, good. Uh, blood shield surrounds the target in a barrier form from the... Okay, but what about blood for blood? Curses the target's blood to heat and accelerate till it, till it seeps from every pore. What about ignite blood? It's not a sacrifice enough blood. Not yet, at least. Summon an elemental. Just get any help that we can get. There we go. Um, summon some minions as well. Do not have enough mana to cast this spell. Oh, God. Um, right. Orbital strike? Come on, come on, come on. Where is it? Where's the orbital strike? Get it down. This this actually might save us if we can get this orbital strike in. Oh, nice. Oh, God, it did, it did nothing. Oh, God, it did nothing. Okay, everybody. Right, we need everyone. We need everyone. Um, where is it? 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 Draft. Everybody get over here. Search and destroy. Oh, Jesus. This is bad. How has this happened again? Every time. Every time. The most threatening thing in Remote is the fucking insects. Every campaign has been destroyed by fucking insects. All right. Fire mages are in. Go, 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 go. We might be okay, though. I'm not too bothered yet. We've killed a lot of them. Oh, my God. Blood moon. Can't do it. Uh, shadow call. I don't know what that does. That seems fine, though. Fireball. Oh, it's too many. It's too many people. There's too many people. All right. Search and destroy range. Can we turn that one off? Where is it? I can't even see it on this. But this is too much. This is too much to micromanage. Right. Search and destroy range. There we go. Okay. Just get them moving in with melee. Are they done? Oh, okay. That's fine. That's not too bad. I thought we were definitely going to lose someone there. Uh, where are you rushing off to? All right. Can we get these boys rescued? Right, rescue patches. You rescue pots. Oh my god, patches and pots. No, please. Vomiting. Hurry up, rescue patches. Come on. Finish your vomiting already. That's basically the entire colony now hospitalized. The only healthy people we've got. We've got Madalore and Jimbo and Insane Nigel. Everyone else is down for the count. My god, oh my god, and we've got the hives to deal with too. Reproduce in 6.2 days. Right, so Madalore, that is your personal mission. You and Jimbo, who also has a musket and magic missile, so he should be okay. And Insane Nigel, you boys have to deal with all of these hives. You've got 6.2 days to, to flush them all out, team. Good luck. Shouldn't be too difficult. Let's call down Holy Wrath on the land and see what that does. Nothing. Nothing. It did nothing. It was like a really, really crappy... Um, I was going to say magic missile, but that's not right. It's like a really, really crappy um, uh, orbital strike, basically. Didn't really do anything at all. Right, this is going to take some time using just three people with ranged weapons, but what, what else are we going to do? Wait for everyone else to heal up. Insane Nigel, single-handedly the world's greatest doctor here. Look at this. Trying to keep everybody up to scratch. Everybody's out of bed, at least, which is fantastic. Right, okay, we need to get you up as soon as possible. Elkip, get Elkip up, because he's our, he's our biggest warrior. There we go. Right, okay, everybody, everybody's looking good. Right, now I'm going to get everybody to help take out the sides. I thought this was quicker than, than you know, using two people. It's a shame it's not just a quick switch to melee button or something like that. Right, okay. There probably is. I just don't know where it is. Mark, are you okay? Uh, Blood loss extreme. Okay, so he's fine. It's just going to take him a while before he's actually capable of getting out of bed. What's wrong with pots? Oh, blood loss extreme as well, but he's also completely healed up. He just needs actually putting in a bed. I want to rescue pots. Okay, that should be the end of the hives, and more importantly, the caravan has arrived. So this is going to be the big, big siege. Probably the big, biggest one we're going to see this campaign. Oh my god. I'm, I'm worried about this one, because this is going to be all mages, in theory. I, I, I can imagine now, hang on, it's just going to be a regular Rimworld colony, isn't it? Why do I get the suspicious feeling that's going to be the case? It is. Like, it actually just is a regular Rimworld colony. They're not even wizards. They're not even wizards. Wait, they do have some... Hmm, enemy guardsman. Enemy magic protector. Oh. Oh, interesting. R right. We we might be against something then. Okay, hang on. Maybe I spoke too soon. Move in, Bonnet. Let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can do with this. Um, all right, especially now I kept finished smashing those hives. I need to remember to undraft him before he completely loses his shit. There we go. Okay. This could be interesting. Maybe I've underestimated what we're up against here. 
Right, let's go behind these rocks. That way they're, they're going to be forced to uh, sort of meet us. Oh, there are a couple of mages here and there. Careful, Bonnet. Don't draw their attention too much yet. Okay. Let's bring them over to us again. All right, how are we going to do this? This seems it seems like it might be a little dangerous, but I might be being overcautious again. Some of them have magic rings and stuff, but it's obviously very cool. Um, this guy's got nothing. See, again, like these, these ring of elemental lightning of infinity. Why didn't we have these? These sound very, very powerful. Anyway, um, what do you think? Just a quick death bolt right down the middle? That'll do. Death bolt down the middle. Do they know we're attacking yet? Apparently not. Uh, death bolt him. Okay. Well, that's woken him up. What are we up against then, team? Run, Bonnet. Oh, okay. They've got magic. They do have magic, confirmed. Right, okay. Oh, they've got a lot of magic. Okay. Bonnet, for the love of God. Um, flight. Where is flight? Flight, flight, flight. Flight. Back to here. Then we were going to immediately throw down a Fog of Torment when he's landed. So let's use that very, very quickly. Fog of Torment here as well. Make these undead a little more uh, little more horrifying. There we go. Let's just go search and destroy melee and ranged. All right. Spread out into the fog. That's fine. I mean, I'd like to I'd like to keep them inside the fog, though. That's, that uh, would be good. Search and destroy melee? No, that's going to make them search and destroy ranged. But I suppose they're going to water acquire targets anyway. The downside is some of them just won't attack. Oh, man. We're at, they're actually using a lot of magic in hindsight. Okay, this could be a concern. Right, get on it. Let's go uh, raise them dead. Get get some more. Get some more as soon as possible. Get them up, Bonnet. He's absorbing just all the damage his way, though. All right, raise them up. There we go. Okay, we've got some more raised. Are they attacking? Right, right, right. Search and destroy melee. Go for it. The rangers will still use range, but those with melee weapons can use melee. This is not nearly as threatening as I was hoping, to be honest with you. This just feels like a standard RimWorld Siege. A lot of fire coming out, though. If we could get their rings, that seems like it would be very, very powerful. Like an undead wizard army seems like the next step above. You know, the next logical increase. Just some mages. Right, Bonnet gets stuck in. It's the first part of the campaign Bonnet's ever going to get stuck into combat with. You know what? I feel like we're just destroying them again, aren't we? What have they got? Combat helmet. What are these? High-tech urban world for... How have they got these things? That's insane. Okay, we are starting to lose some boys here. Take him out, Bonnet. Johnny is done with. What is going on? I mean, this this is not nearly as cool as I thought it would be, you know? I was kind of expecting a big old wizard base with towers and, you know, magicians here trying to save their realm, but... It's just a, it's just a shit village. It's just a shit village. I mean, we've, we've won already. They're already fleeing. Um, I guess I'll have to think outside the box for this one, team. Base destroyed. All we had to do was to kill one more person. Right, undraft. Let's put this fire out. Has Bonnet got Rainmaker? Because I kind of like to see what they've got on their corpses. In fact, Bonnet, come and strip this one because she definitely had a magic ring. These seem quite good. I, like I said, I feel like if we gave all the undead magic... Like, since when were we able to craft magic rings? In fact, I don't think we were, to be honest with you. Um, right, go and see whether or not we can even grab this ring. Um, no, it just disappears. So I think that's just supposed to show that they're mages, you know, um, that they have the ability to use magic without actually making them a mage class. Anyway, well, that was um, disappointing. Well, there you go. The Sovereign Fedor. Thank you for watching. The series is over. No, we, we need something grand. We need something much, much better than that. Ah, now, apparently, we had visitors from the Sovereign Federation of uh, Vainum, and they are not best pleased that we've gone on a genocide against the people. Send Elkip. Send him. He is the one who will destroy them all. I love that they are stopping for meals, though. Go. Go, my boy. Faction base attacked. Base belonging to the Shadow Crew was attacked by the Blue Plane Covenant. Nice to see that we've sort of given them the means to uh, take them out. There we go. Chief angered. Oh, no. What a shocker. Apparently, we've, we've angered the chief of those people we just attacked. Bonnet has returned to Bonnetsboro once again, even though I've said about three or four times now, this is his last time ever stepping foot in Bonnetsboro. Apparently, we've got some elven caravans. The game won't give us the proper send-off we need. We're going to make it happen. Here's the plan. I've heard rumors of a big siege about to head to Bonnets, but it turns out we've pissed off a lot of people. We've pissed off um, the realms of the Shadow Crew for destroying their bases. We've pissed off the wizards for both dabbling in the occult, um, quite significantly, as you can tell by the end of the army, but also by attacking and, you know, obviously burning down one of their colonies, which they weren't best pleased about, and then raising up their citizens as undead warriors. So what we're going to do is bide our time. 
before this this joint attack force. Um, unless they hate one another, which point it won't be. This attack force of unseen before proportions turns up. We're going to wait and we're going to clean and we're going to haul corpses until hopefully the siege itself turns up. Oh god, what could that be? Three, three raids. A group of seers from the Sovereign Federation of Banium have arrived nearby. A group of seers from the... No. No, what have we possibly done here? Who could have seen... Okay. Uh, oh Jesus. Uh, who could have seen such a horrifying raid? Uh, it's not actually that ridiculous still though. It's kind of hoping for bigger than that. Anyway, they've turned up a lot. They've got wizards though. There's plenty of wizards there with wizardy powers. Oh, you know what? There's more than I'm giving them credit for. Oh my god. It... Uh... Oh, they're all chugging mana potions initially. Well, that's horrifying. Um... Oh, they're attacking immediately. Oh, shit. Um, right. Okay, team. So, this is it. The final assault. Probably shouldn't have pissed off some wizards. Let's do it, squad. Squad up. We've got the elves to help us as well. It's like Helm's Deep. The elves have turned up. Um, I mean, they're traders this time around. I doubt they were just making a <coughs> classic run past. Bonnet should stand in Bonnet's bra, digging up graves and constantly churning out undead. He is not needed on the front lines. Oh my god, there's no way in hell we're going to get everybody here before the, the attack begins. They've caught us off guard. They followed the caravan that Bonnet bought back. Oh, Bonnet, you fool. Oh god, Bonnet has brought death to us all. I mean, um, we knew that anyway, because he's raised a whole bunch of undead. Right, move over here. Get people lined up. The annual expo. Now is not the time for annual expos, my friends. Equip this war hammer. Hold the, hold the line. Hold the line. Here they come. Oh, oh, it's already a mess. Oh, it's already a mess. Um, the elves are not happy because we're accidentally shooting their members in the back of the head. Oh my god. Yeah, no, this is, uh, this is pretty ridiculous, huh? Okay, so Bonnet, your job quite simply. Um, churn out all these graves. Open, open. Let's keep sending hordes and hordes of undead. Go, go, go. Oh my god, it takes longer than I thought. Oh, God. This is horrible. Like, this is this is horrible. Get on the catapult. Get on the catapult, my friend. Uh, Martin, on the catapult. This is bad. Like, these wizards have... Again, these defenses are really working against us here, aren't they? Uh, here was me thinking they would maybe stage before they attacked. There's too many. Okay. Now we've got to start chucking out some powers. Graveblade, go. Um, Poppy, down. Uh, Blizzard. Blizzards are powerful. Blizzards in. Shadow bolts in. What else have we got? Fireballs. Go with the fireballs. Let's fire every spell we've got at them here. Holy Wrath. Chuck it down. Um, we've got... Uh, what have I not used yet? I've mean, pretty, much, pretty much used everything, unfortunately. Blood Moon. No use. Orbital Strike. That's a good one. Go, my team. This is a lot of spells. Oh, my God. They've got too much magic. They've got way too much magic. Oh, God. There goes the fireball. Boom, that was good. That was very, very good. Okay, here, here's the holy light. The holy light blasting through. Nice, I feel like we got a good couple there. I have no idea what's happening. I have, I have no idea what's happening anymore. Okay, Bonnet. Uh, Mad Madalor can up. Madalor is dead. The first of, I believe, our actual citizens. She is down. Bonnet, get these undead up. Send them to war. If you can, as quickly as possible. That would be phenomenal. Miller is dead. I don't know who Miller is. Nor do I care much. Um, Viper, I appreciate the help, but actually coming somewhere useful. Okay, the castle's been breached. Fall back. Fall back. All survivors, fall back to the second layer. Okay, please, please, please. Run, 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 run back. Okay, there we go. Right, pull back. Bonnet, you need to be raising those undead, my friend. Raise undead. Go. Chili, Chili is dead. Goodbye, Chili. Okay, the, the people are falling back. Except for insane Nigel, who's actually lost his mind. Oh, he's on fire. That's understandable. Oh my god, they are just not stopping. We've done a hell of a lot of damage to say this was a 15,000 point raid. So the strongest points you can get in RimWorld is 5,000, right? We have three 5,000 point raids. And still, I think we're doing a goddamn good job here. Right, draft, search and destroy. Off you go, the undead. Bonnet, exhume some more graves. Let's dig them up, my boy. I mean, I feel like a lot of it has been friendly fire. I will be honest with you. I feel like a lot of this has been just horrific amounts of friendly fire. Shahadi. Not Shahadi. Terrible. And Ari. Not Ari. Kali as well. Okay, here they go. They're actually about to breach the second layer of the base. Get back. Mummy Milky is down. Oh my god, team. What are we going to do? 
It's only a couple of stragglers, though, to be fair. This isn't too bad. Christabel the Rhino. It's just the magic. Like, the AoE magic is absurd. They've definitely broken through at this stage. Bonnet, let's get some more undead. Help your people, Bonnet. Saunders is dead. No. I recognize that name. Okay, go, go, go. In you go. Draft. And search and destroy. I know they haven't got weapons. Okay, I'm doing my best, goddammit. The elephant is dead. Nate's gone manhunter mode. Because of the elephant's death, they've actually completely breached through here. Oh my god. Such reckless hate. It's just Bonnet. It is just Bonnet. Churn now is undead. Right, okay. Search and destroy. Keep going, keep going. Don't, do not stop. What are we supposed to do? Ray the pony. Smelly. Brocky. This is ridiculous. See, I thought we were doing okay, but actually in hindsight, uh, once they've broken through that second layer, they're still not after Bonnet, though. They've still not gone after Bonnet, which is very, very strange. Guy Vogel. Poor Guy Vogel. <laughs> have we got any last standing colonists? Have we got any... No, everybody's down. Reginald Elkip's on fire. Insane Nigel Drake is on fire. Jimbo is down. Bonnet King has a better understanding of magic. Good one, Bonnet King. That was the type of explosive end I wanted. Just to show me how to sort of engineer it. I feel like Rim of Magic. Not particularly balanced. It's a little rough around the edges. There goes Patches, Jimbo, Drake. Bonnet stands in the middle of his burning city. His last refuge in Undeadburg. Could there be a more fitting end to this campaign? Yes, there could. Yes, there could. Get out of here, Bonnet. You don't deserve to die like these others. You're a lich. You can't die anyway. In fact, I don't think they'd be able to kill Bonnet. I think this, this single man could, could win this. Run, Bonnet. Form caravan. Bonnet Bigley, he's gone. Get out of here. Choose route. <sighs> Where would we go? Where would we go? He doesn't need to eat. He doesn't get cold. He heads up to the Blue Horn Expanse. Alone. Goodbye. Form this caravan. Goodbye, Bonnet. Bonnet, you can actually you can actually go though, pal. Like actually just leave. Um, is he off? Forming caravan? Unloading inventory? Just leave! <laughs> Just drop the agave. Just leave, my dude. What's he doing? Forming caravan moving. Wandering. Just go! There we go, he's off. Attacking Elf Lord. Good, he had to kill one before he, uh, before he actually finally fled the map there. He's gone. He's actually gone. Bonnet is free. He's leaving his castle. He's letting his people die. Like the coward that Bonnet Bigley always was from the start. That's how I always had him in mind, right? There we go. Our last colonist is gone. And now we wait for the rest to slowly, slowly burn, bleed out, die as they pull apart the castles. We've got one prisoner left. He's going to be pretty fucking shocked, I think. I don't think he's going to be expecting that. Oh, man. All that hard work, huh? Gone. What are you doing? They're kidnapping people to steal what they can and leave. The survivors, that, I mean, we have survivors. They're being kidnapped. They're being carried away. Insane Nigel is the only one left at the gates there. Holy shit, look at that. What a way to end it. This is cool. This is exactly how all Rimworld Colony should end in a blaze. But honestly, I think with Room of Magic, with some of these spells, we had to go three past, three times the game's strongest raid to be able to actually uh, throw some threat. It's maybe, maybe two times the game's limit could have done it, but man... This is how it always should have ended. And we knew this was always how it was going to end with Bonnet Bigley dabbling in the occult. They're burning Bonnet's bedroom. The arcane capacitors have been set to detonate. They never got to the vault of the God King, though. And Insane Nigel. I feel like of all people, Insane Nigel being the last survivor, bleeding out of the gates, looking across the burnt base there. That's a, that's a nice little allegory. The man who healed and saved so many people. The last survivor. Man, I wonder how long it's going to take for this guy to die. 0 0.8 hours. We're watching the last survivor of the colony fade away. Goodbye, Nigel. You've, you've saved so many, and in the end, could not save himself. There it goes. Insane Nigel gone. Roof collapse. It's just Egas. We're just waiting for Egas to, to rot away there. Same with Insane Nigel and Ollie. Good ending. Good ending. Bonnet Bigley. This is not the end of him. For those of you who didn't, uh, who don't follow the CK2 series, I am adding into a mod that I'm working on for CK2, so we will see some more Bonnet Bigley in the future. But of course, in Rimworld, he is a survivor. He's fled. He's already made quite the distance. Of course, he doesn't have to rest. He can fly. Doesn't have to sleep. Doesn't have to eat. So he can just keep moving. He can outpace any army. He's gonna head up right away into the. Uh, there's actually a mountain up there in the ice sheet. 
And there we go. A single lich. Might make a good future campaign. A single lich and an ice sheet. Seeing if we can rebuild. What a sad sight, huh? Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys liked this series. I thought we needed some pretty explosive end. And I feel like this is uh, this has definitely done the trick there. Bonnet's Halls. I mean, Bonnet's Halls actually survived the empty throne of the God King there. Gathering dust. What a sad end. Well, let's give a shout out to all of the patrons for making the series possible. They genuinely have made the channel uh, possible in the first place. Let's be honest with them. So, Zachary Harris, Harik, Sean Thornton, Haydog, Sidini, Tim Bragg, Lil Russ, Michael Mullen, Vacuous Backers, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Tyler Birch, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Powers Presley, Suna Kirito, Logan Thorne, Conspiracy, Jimbo, Orcs Wolf, Fukuno Vasquez, Tom Terrier 18, Escape, Average Gamer 419, and Jackson Woodman. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for keeping the channel going. You've made series like this possible. Even though it was a little uh, chitty towards the end there, I feel like the ending uh, was nice and explosive. That's what we want to do. We want to piss off a whole bunch of mages. And of course, the same goes out as well to Nathaniel Lindberg, Brandon Wintonia, Euphrates, Jack Allen, Betamus Max, Panther Pearl, Gabriel Van Ders, Llewellyn Thomas, Nathan Flores, Yohan De Vries, Haji Dumar, Alpha Scuff, Kevin Saunders, Dunk 217, Zet McDougal, Joseph Beard, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Chris, Hancock, Serthal the Swede, Asero, Nick Will, Wade, Noah Gallimore, Fraser Brennan, the Insane Pickle, Adam Person, and I See the Great.